Okay. Roland. All right. So Matt asked the question, trying to do a three minute quickie video information about the airplane. This is what I've come up with while we have this perfect lighting. Follow me. We're going to talk about the antennas on the aircraft. If we look at the top side of the aircraft, we can see COM1 and COM2. Actually, I don't know which COM those are because I can't see the routing of the, the antenna wires into the radios. But let's just assume COM1, COM2. Back here, we have the emergency locator transmitter and antenna. I do know that, they're very unique. Okay, top of the aircraft, on the top of the vertical stabilizer are the VOR antennas. You can remember those very easily because they're shaped like a V. That stands for VOR. Now it doesn't really, it just happens that they better pick up a VOR signal by being in a horizontal uh, plane than do the comms, which are better at picking up the frequencies that we use for communications in the vertical plane. So there's a little science behind that and why they are oriented the way that they are. Okay, time to get down on the ground, get a little dirty, don't drop my phone. Okay, underneath the aircraft, <laughs> we have a little smiley face. You can't quite, we'll show that in a, in a minute. I didn't know that was there. Up at the, well, right here, this little shark fin, uh, this is more than likely the, I'm going to look one more time. Okay. <clears throat> that is more than likely the transponder antenna. They usually come in a design kind of like that. If you look at the very front, you can see a, uh, an antenna down there that's oriented horizontally right behind the nose wheel strut. And that is the marker beacons. And all that is there to do is detect a signal coming straight up out of an AM transmitter that's located on the center line of the runway. Uh, and it's called a, uh, a marker beacon. They typically have outer, middle, and inner markers for ILS landing systems so the pilots can have a visual cue, it'll light up a light, and an audio cue, it'll sound in their headsets, of where they are on the approach. Um, and that's all that this aircraft has installed in it. Your mileage GPS. may vary. Oh yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Okay, GPS, go, 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 go. <laughs> and this is the GPS antenna. Do not paint. And so that has a clear view of uh, the satellites because those are up in the sky. So the orientation of the antennas are so that you can hear these things much better. Uh, over here, we have not an, an antenna, excuse me. That is actually an outside air temperature probe on the Piper Cherokee. Uh, your mileage may vary. Different aircraft may have different antennas. Uh, the Cirrus has a comm antenna on the top and a comm antenna on the bottom. I believe, and I'm not 100% on this, that COM1 is on the bottom of the aircraft and COM2 is on the top of the aircraft. May have those backwards. Hey, if I'm wrong, send us an email. Hello at spreadaviation.com. Any wicks on this? No, no static wicks on this no aircraft. static wicks, okay. Uh, no certification requirements for that for IFR flight. All right, have a good one.